Hello, beloved. Today is Saturday of the fifth week after Pentecost, July 3rd, 2021. Today in our reading from the book of Acts, Peter is called on the carpet for eating with Gentiles. But when he explains everything, beginning with the vision, they don't really have any choice but to agree with what he did. Let's begin with our opening versicle. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Our psalm for the week is Psalm 30. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up, and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, you have brought up my soul from Sheol. You restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you his saints, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you made my mountain stand strong. You hid your face. I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cry, and to the Lord I plead for mercy. What profit is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our hymn for the week is hymn number 755 from Lutheran Service Book, In the Very Midst of Life. In the very midst of life, snares of death surround us. Who shall help us in the strife, lest the foe confound us? Thou only, Lord, Thou only, we mourn that we have greatly erred that our sins thy wrath have stirred. Holy and righteous God, holy and mighty God, holy and all-merciful Savior, eternal Lord God. Save us, lest we perish in the bitter pangs of death. Have mercy, O Lord. In the midst of death's dark veil, powers of hell take us. Who will help when they assail? Who secure will make us? Thou only, Lord, Thou only. Thy heart is moved with tenderness, pities us in our distress. Holy and righteous God, holy and mighty God, holy and all-merciful Saviour, Eternal Lord God, save us from the terror of the fiery pit of hell. 
Have mercy, O Lord. In the midst of utter woe, when our sins oppress us, where shall we for refuge go, where for grace to bless us? To thee, Lord Jesus, only thy precious blood was shed to win full atonement for our sin. Holy and righteous God, holy and mighty God, Holy and all-merciful Savior, eternal Lord God. Lord, preserve and keep us in the peace that faith can give. Have mercy, O Lord. Today's reading is from the book of Acts, the 11th chapter, beginning at verse 1. Now the apostles and the brothers who were throughout Judea heard that the Gentiles also had received the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcision party criticized him, saying, You went to uncircumcised men and ate with them. But Peter began and explained it to them in order. I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance, I saw a vision, something like a great sheet descending, being let down from heaven by its four corners, and it came down to me. Looking at it closely, I observed animals and beasts of prey and reptiles and birds of the air. And I heard a voice saying to me, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. But I said, By no means, Lord, for nothing common or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But the voice answered a second time from heaven, What God has made clean, do not call unclean. This happened three times, and all was drawn up again into heaven. And behold, at that very moment, three men arrived at the house in which we were, sent to me from Caesarea. And the Spirit told me to go with them, making no distinction. These six brothers also accompanied me, and we entered the man's house. And he told us how he had seen the angel stand in his house and say, Send to Joppa and bring Simon, who is called Peter. He will declare to you a message by which you will be saved, you and all your household. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell on them just as on us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave the same gift to them as he gave to us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could stand in God's way? When they heard these things, they fell silent, and they glorified God, saying, Then to the Gentiles also God has granted repentance that leads to life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's time again for the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, For he has visited and redeemed his people, and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, who have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, 
to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, during his earthly ministry, your Son Jesus healed the sick and raised the dead. By the healing medicine of the word and sacraments, pour into our hearts such love toward you that we may live eternally. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today we read from Meditations on Divine Mercy by Johann Gerhard, translated by Matthew C. Harrison. Listen to this on God's omnipotent kindness. How much has God given to us without our asking? He has given us body and soul. He has even given us his own son. What will he give to us if only we ask him? Because God has given us such great things, we can have courage and confidence when we ask him for lesser things. Everything we ask for is insignificant compared to the fact that the Son of God willingly suffered and died for us. God's goodness is boundless and infinite. What can he deny to us? The love by which we hold fast to God, no matter how faint it may be, makes us eagerly desire to be subject to God's will in all things. Even so, we are much more sure of God's boundless love and goodness. Is not this the trust God wants? He fulfills the desire of those who fear him, says the psalmist, doubtless because God shows those who fear him the purest and most perfect love. Indeed, Perfect love gives itself totally to the one who is loved and grants what he or she desires. God's goodness is omnipotent. Is there anything he cannot give to us? Nothing that God has promised is too hard or too difficult, much less impossible, for him to do because he is the highest power. Amen. We'll close again today with Luther's morning prayer. Let us pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, order our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. God bless your day, beloved.